Welcome to Life in a Bottle. Oh, it smells good. It does. It smells good. It sure All does. Right. All right. I'm relieved now. <laughs> I'm happy. Cool. You want to do the intro? Sure. Cool. Welcome to Life in a Bottle, season one, episode 20. 20. Episode By 20. skin of our teeth. Wow. <laughs> uh, We're really seriously faking it this week. It's going to be a lot of fun this week. Uh, as you can see, it's just uh, just Cody and I. Uh, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a good one. Mitch is off. Uh, we should first start by saying Mitch is really kind of like the technical camera mic talent on this show. The man behind the curtain. And Mitch is um, Mitch is off riding his bicycle somewhere, <laughs> which is great for Mitch. Kyle and I are faking it, <laughs> so uh, we're doing a really good job though. We're off to a good start. We are. The wine is freaking incredible. It's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. So um, what is the wine, Cody? It is, uh, so this is Pinot Noir. It's Eric Chevalier uh, VDP Loire Pinot Noir 2018 vintage. It is. Yeah, 2018 vintage. This is a wine that I first tasted in France in January. At last, it's here. These time things take some time. They have to get collected from the winery and get put on a boat and, uh come here and then oftentimes we let them settle down a little bit just to rest before we open them and start sharing them and tasting them and this has had a chance to rest and it is absolutely glorious it is as i remember at um, a hotel in angers and uh that's where i first met eric chevalier so so where are we we're uh we're in france we're in france we're in the loire valley and uh we're specifically in nantes which you know, may, maybe that means something to you, maybe that doesn't, but this is in and around the region of Muscadet. Okay. Eric is actually, first and foremost, a <laughs> Muscadet producer, and he makes some lovely little side projects, including his Chardonnay, which you guys might be familiar with. Um, and this is, I think this is the first or second vintage that he's ever made this Pinot Noir. Um, cool. So we're, we're in and around Muscadet. We're really kind of snuggled up against the Atlantic Ocean. This is a very Atlantic-influenced region of the Loire. Um, so not quite as cool as the rest of the Loire. Yep, a little bit yep. more moderate, and definitely uh, benefiting from some uh, some sea breeze. This is his Pinot Noir, which he produces a little bit differently than your Burgundian Pinot Noir or your California Pinot Noir. It's made using semi carbonic maceration, so that means a touch of Beaujolais swag. Just a touch. Yeah. Not a ton. It's there. It's there. The wine is but. unfiltered. But it's still pretty clear. Yeah. It's quite clear. Uh, the color is gorgeous. It's it's a very nice looking color. It's got a little bit of darkness that doesn't always come with Loire Valley Pinot Noir. It's a little bit inky. It's got a nice depth in the core. It's almost opaque. And then right around the rim, it gets nice and crystal clear and bright ruby red. And holy smokes. That knows, It dude. smells so good. That it does. I that put this does. on the level of something of like Pascal Jean Vier Rouge, um, which is like you I'd put your nose in the glass and you're just like, oh yeah, we're doing something. It's exciting. Now. It's exciting. This winery is um, practicing organic and in conversion to certified organic. The certification comes through in 2020, next year. I was just saying to Kyle, sometimes you taste a wine in France. And when it first lands in the U.S., it doesn't taste like you remember it. But right now, this wine tastes exactly as I remember it. Actually, better than I remember it. So, pleasant surprise. Layers and layers of very ripe black cherries. Um, a little bit of... I smell a little bit of peppercorn. A little bit of, like, the Pascal Jean Vier sure. peppercorn. Sure. I can see that. Um, a little um, earth. It smells... It smells a little bit like really good Beaujolais. It does. It does. You get a little bit of that Burgundian earth, that kind of turned soil forest floor. Although just a little mushrooming. I but the know, peppercorn. I don't know if any Beaujolais at this price range does this. Maybe it does, but I haven't found it yet. It's juicy, but it, it's not full bodied. It's not heavy. It's fresh and juicy, it's like but it's medium weight, thirst quenching. It's a good way to put it thirst quenching because it's got some some oomph it's got plenty to say it doesn't just like float across and then it disappears um it's nicely put together it's all about fruit but it's also got like more of that like stony minerality Mm -hmm. what would you what would you pair it with dude yes 
Yes. <laughs> uh, I would pair it with a lot of things. My The first place my head goes, honestly, is sausage, actually. For sure. Like, I would go, like, some, some nice sausage, some lamb sausage, maybe. Something yeah. with a little bit of gaminess. Yeah. I think would be really awesome. Um, but... <laughs> what wouldn't I pair I guess, this with? yeah, I guess that's it's a, a better, shorter list. better conversation. Um, but this would be awesome. Anything roasted, grilled, charred, uh, anything with some earthiness, some yeah. mushrooms, some veggies. Yeah, I was just thinking mushrooms, like a nice portobello burger for me, especially this time of year. Hell yeah. And don't, please people, do not forget to stick it in the fridge for 30 to 40 minutes, but not longer. So don't forget to stick it in the fridge, but also don't forget to take it out of the fridge. <laughs> um, just that little bit of chill makes all the difference. It brings cool. that fruit to life. Yep. Um, and uh, you won't find it anywhere else in Connecticut right now. This is just an Ancona's project. Kermit hooked us up on this one. Um, it's nice, and, uh, nice when he does that. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love Kermit. Indeed. I guess cheers to Kermit. Cheers right? to Kermit Lynch. Cheers to Kermit Nicely done. Another one. I think it was a pretty solid first take. I think that was pretty good. <laughs> I think that was pretty good.